Ten bad bitches in a mesh. Rich so many rock them diamonds on me dancing. When you working hard, then your money start expanding. I got model bitches wanna lick me like some candy. Hey guys, what's up? Today I am working with this wig that I got from Eva's wig. I'll leave all like the hair information and stuff below, but it's just like a naturally wavy wig, and I think it's 24 inches, and we're just gonna be slaying this wig today. I'm gonna just show y'all how to make it look natural and how to make my units me basically doing this like frontal style like uh no hair left out whatsoever not even baby hairs maybe a little bit of baby hairs you know the more baby hairs the better um so i'm gonna just put this unit on right here for y'all it's so snug okay show y'all what i'm working with show y'all what kind of hairline it's got really boxy so first things first i'm just gonna start by bleaching the knot all right so you guys know that i'm in japan and basically what i'm using is not going to be what y'all are using i'm gonna flip the unit inside out i'm using um Manic Panic White Bomb High Bleach Set. Okay, so when applying this bleach, you want to kind of have a light hand. If you are too heavy handed, you will bleach the entire roots of the unit like I did, but it's okay because I end up plucking half of the blonde hairs out anyway. There's about seven minutes left on my timer, and I set the timer for 25 minutes, um, but I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wash it out right now. So customizing the hairline is my absolute favorite part. First, I just pull back the hair, and you know, I just use some clips or hair tie to clip it back, and then um, I stretch out the lace and um, put these pins in it. I don't have T-pins and I'm ghetto, so excuse me. Um, then I use my rat tail comb and I just separate a thin strip right along the perimeter of the hair. This will act as my baby hairs. To cut the baby hairs, you wanna use an eyebrow razor. This makes it look a lot more natural, number one, because you can kinda of thin them out and make them as short as you want to, and number two, it's not a blunt cut because natural baby hairs are kinda of wispy and kinda of carefree and they're not uh, really uniform. Now Raven Elise actually taught me this, using an eyebrow razor to uh, fix the density of the wig. This is not so much, you know, creating the, the dips and the, and the curves of a hairline, but this is just to make it look natural because your edges are naturally more thinner than, you know, the rest of your hair. So you just go through and you gently kind of scrape off the hair, just kind of thinning it out a little bit. But you have to be really careful because I straight up made a bald spot right here. But I mean, it doesn't look bad on, but I definitely did. I was like, oh shit, I made a bald spot. You can always see the line of demarcation, so I just take a mannequin head, put a plastic bag on it, take a foundation color that's a little bit darker than my actual skin tone color. And because like the lace will automatically make whatever goes under it lighter, it's I do like something that's darker than my skin tone. So you mainly want to focus on the perimeter right here because that's what's going to be showing. Cool? Cool. So you use the tweezers to actually customize the wig. I pluck, um, it's probably better to pluck too much than not pluck enough. 
Uh, so I kind of just pluck wherever I feel like um, needs to be thinner. I pluck baby hairs. I pluck behind the actual line that I made. And I just try to make uh, some, some divots and some curves and some, you know, just kind of like more chaotic and not so much of a uniform hairline. So wherever my tweezer takes me, I just kind of go. You really don't have to be too um, careful about this, only careful not to rip the lace. But I mean, if you're pulling out, you don't need like two, three hairs at a time, it's very unlikely that you'll rip the lace. So I got my hair all plugged and I haven't yet cut the lace off. Ah, this is all the hair that I took out of the wig. Uh, it's going to look like a lot because the hair is 24 inches. Once you're done and you put it on, it's really not that much. You're probably going to want to pluck more. This lace is too light for my skin. Uh, it needs to be a couple of shades darker. So what I want to do is I want to dye it with a tea bag, but I don't really know how to do that. It's trial and error. Not necessarily going to take y'all with me through that because I don't want to be up here showing people how not to do stuff. But um, I'm just going to put this wig on here and show y'all how everything looks. I'm going to clip it and show y'all how beautiful it looks. This hair is gorgeous. So pretty. So that's what I'm going to do. And you know before like we used to cut all the lace off. Now I think we're leaving a little bit. Because if I leave too much then I, feel, I just feel like you can see the lace. All right, now for to prep my hair, I'm gonna take some of this Gorilla Snot and I'm just going to brush back my edges. This is actually what I'm gonna be using to as adhesive today, the Gorilla Snot. I got a lot of edges, like a lot of baby hair. So mine aren't gonna be completely like pulled back because my baby hair come all the way down on my forehead. Um, but I'm just gonna use this, tuck my braids in in the back and bring this right about there. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Gorilla Snot. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> so just bear with me. I'm gonna put it on my 
edges here. I've never done this before, but people were using uh, got to be glued. And I was like, I got some girl snot, why not, you know? See if that works. This is too much, but I'm not going to cut that right now. I'm just going to leave it there. Now this needs to be pressed down. Just go through and press this down. Make sure it's tight. Front baby here, come through. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, okay. Maybe we won't need that many fun. And I'm gonna style the hair and blow dry the perimeter, and I'll be right back. Now, guys, as far as how long the gorilla snot holds, I really can't tell you. Um, I haven't wore it long enough to know how long it holds. Um, but maybe you guys can try it out. I have heard that the got to be glued uh, gel holds for like three days. Um, so maybe you guys can try that as an alternative. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I love you guys and thanks for watching.